churros. Today is the day I settle all disputes of disputes. I'm heading over to Sagrada Familia. We're gonna enjoy ourselves at Sagrada Familia, but today's objective is to figure out who has the best churros. I've done my research and everyone says, oh, this place is good. Oh, this other place is good. So I'm gonna be the one to put it to the test. Today is Saturday, a beautiful Saturday. And what better way to spend this Saturday than walking around, taking in the scenery, and eating some churros. Now, if you saw my last video, you guys saw that I didn't really like the churros. So you're probably wondering, yo, official Fly Fitness, why the hell are you going back to eat churros after you said you didn't like the churros? Well, it's because these churros are a specific kind of churro. These churros are filled. So, yeah, the churro filled with like cream and stuff and different flavors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have two churros from one spot, two churros from the other spot. One like one churro from each spot, the same like flavor, and then one other churro if they have like some weird flavor. I'll try that out because I'm feeling a little spicy. So. It's gonna be a 30 minute walk from my apartment to Sagrada Familia, but 30 minutes to me is a YouTube second to you. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Peace. so good so <clears throat> the first place I stopped that was Chureria Sagrada Familia this looks very good it was five euros two euros for crema just like um, vanilla and then three euros for the Nutella these are about a smack let me get one bite of each I'm gonna try to get one bite of each on camera I this is the cream. Mm. Yo. Yo. <laughs> that shit is so good. That is wow. It's like. So I just get like get into super detail and give you guys like a review. It's like crunchy on the outside, yet yeah, soft. Not the inside, but like the batter of the churro. Once you get past the crunch, it's soft. And then the cream is not super sweet and it's not bitter. This was just an amazing churro. And I'm gonna try the Nutella. So, people probably like, yo, this guy's weird. This is amazing. Yo, this is so good. All right. So, that was our first stop. Let me get another bite. Check where I'm at, though. see it what kind of scenery that's the best scenery I'm just eating churros recording myself eating churros right behind the Mac daddy yeah you already know I'm gonna show you all some footage this looks beautiful this is not the cathedral the last video is at the cathedral 
this is just insanely giant. This is just huge. So I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna walk around, take some pictures, take some video, show y'all so you can see from my eyes what I'm looking at. And then after that, we go into another churro spot. I will say the name, but I forgot it. But when I look it up, I don't know. I think it's like Churreria Trebol or something like that. But it's supposedly really good as well. We're taking a lot of things into consideration here in this full review of the best churros in Barcelona. Peace. Only thing I hate about this next churro spot is that it's so far away. Insane. But. I'll take this time to talk about how my diet's been so far and my lifting schedule. To be honest, I haven't been able to lift every day, nor do I think I want to, like, no, I definitely want to lift every day. It's just, it's been super difficult. Um, like I know I said in the last video, I'm still acclimating to everything and get a routine and it's just doing this doing an internship here then as soon as the internship is done classes start I haven't even gotten my class schedule yet haven't even done my academic orientation for my class schedule on top of that searching for interview internships um, for next summer so I'm searching for that applying to those getting called like getting ready to call people doing my research then applying you know then worrying about housing next semester then what I'm gonna do next semester and it's just so much more stuff that I want to be worrying about and I just don't want to stress myself out while I'm here <laughs> and then like on top of that I want to travel I want to go places I want to see things see new things I want to show you guys new things I want to create this content I'm super passionate about making these YouTube videos I fell in love with making these YouTube videos and I feel like right now that takes precedence um, over a lot of things and some you know some people don't think it should be that way but I don't care I'm enjoying doing it I love doing this and um, I'm gonna keep doing it so my eating habits have been the same like they haven't been they haven't been they're not even subpar they're just they're horrible I eat sandwiches ham and cheese sandwiches I eat pizza and baked goods and it's just it's just so bad but the few times that I do go to the gym, I have like a really good pump and I really have, you know, all those carbs are in me and I, and I lift well. Last time I went to the gym, I went with my buddy and we had a really good lift. We trained some back. I was able to lift really heavy and I'm still, I'm also still waiting for my friend Joe back from home. You guys saw him in my Fastest Man Alive um, episode. I just wanted to give you guys a snippet of like why I haven't been training as much as I trained while I am at school or while I was over the summer. It's just um, super difficult. I don't want you guys to think that I don't have the ethic. I definitely do have the ethic and I'll get back into the swing of things. I just need some like, I just need time and I just need to de-stress and I just don't want to worry about things that I shouldn't have to worry about. I feel like a lot of things right now are more important than me stressing about where's the best gym, pros and cons of each gym, the price for each gym, monthly, um, how far it is, the monthly subscription, all of that stuff. I just don't want to worry about that. I don't need to worry about that. So I'll just keep going sporadically and paying the day pass to go until like I'm all my stuff is situated, classes started, my roommates here, they're acclimated. We have a, a whole household routine and I can really just sit down and be like, all right, here's my day to day. This is when I can squeeze in a gym session. This is how far I wanna to walk to the gym. This is how I want the gym to be. And this is how much I think I should be paying for the gym. So when that's all said and done, you guys will definitely be one of the first to know and watch. And I'm excited to take you guys through lifting in this beautiful country. And then I'm also excited of doing things like this, just walking around, exploring the country. And I'm even more excited taking you guys along with me to journeys to other countries. So, all right, my rant is done. Churreria Trebol is coming up soon, so I'm gonna grow up there.
right, I finally got to Churreria Trebol. This one is not really located in, you know, really pretty area like the other one was. This one, I really don't even know what this is, but it looks like they're building like this major um, elementary school behind me, which is pretty cool. But, so right from the start, just like looking at it and the visual appeal, Chureria Sagrada Familia wins in that department. You know, this one doesn't have places to sit outside. Let me move somewhere. This one didn't have places to eat outside and um, they didn't have m that much of a selection of churros. Like if I knew that, I kind of wish I went to this one first and Sagrada Familia, because Sagrada Familia had like um, orange, pina colada, jelly, like those different types of like fruit flavors, which I totally wish I grabbed one. But instead, I just took the safe route. Never take the safe route. So anyways, I'm gonna get right to it. I have chocolate and vanilla cream. So the cream is the same one. So let's take a first bite. Wow, this is actually better. Like, <laughs> I just finished talking all that smack and this churro is actually way better. It's crunchier, it's thicker, the cream is sweeter and there's like the, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a sugar glaze over it. So it's like, you get the crunch from the crust of the churro, but you also get the crunch from the sugar. It's so good. And the cream is like, it's thicker. Let me try this chocolate. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is good. I'm gonna crush these. Undisputed. If you're just gonna get the regular chocolate and vanilla filled churros, Churreria Trebol is the place to get it. I'm disputed. I'm disputed. Now, if you want something, and these were two euros each. The other one was two euros for the vanilla, and two euros for. Let me move over here, and two euros for, um, and three euros for the Nutella. This was two euros each. I guess the other one was a little bit more expensive, just because where it was located. Anyways, if you're just looking for safe flavors that are undisputably the best churro. but if you want something else different flavors a wider variety of flavors Chureria Sagrada Familia is the place to go so I'm gonna crush this I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed the review I had a great time walking around Barcelona. As always, I had a great time showing you guys all the cool stuff that I did that I did today. And if you enjoyed this review, and if these churros look good to you, smash that like button, subscribe for more videos, help my channel grow. If you don't like it, smash that dislike button. All publicity is good publicity. Peace out.